What happened to the letter T? Am I the only one that's noticed this? They call me Cruise Man. I've put more than 150,000 miles on Honda Goldwings, riding all over this amazing country. Thousands of Goldwing owners have used my videos to guide them when working on their own bikes or considering which aftermarket products to purchase. I love riding and wrenching. These are my motovlogs. Hello YouTube, this is Cruise Man. Out on the 2018 Goldwing for a February 15th ride, the day after Valentine's Day. I hope all of you had a good Valentine's Day. I had a great one, and I hope you did too. I've got some good news to share. Got a little write up on my 2018 uh, maintenance videos, 2018 plus maintenance videos, in Southeastern Rider Magazine. Now, if you're not familiar with that magazine, I'm going to put a link down in the description of this video so you can click over there and check it out because you can see the magazine online. And if you look on, I think it's page 16 or 17, you'll see the article on my videos. Uh, the man that owns the magazine had my 2001 through 2017 videos for his previous Goldwing. So he reached out to me about my new videos and wanted to write an article, so he did. He now has a 2018 Goldwing, so check it out. You'll also see a little write-up in the March edition of Wing World magazine talking about my 2018 plus Goldwing maintenance videos. Pretty cool, getting a little exposure out there. Fingers crossed, I'm hoping I'll get another write-up here pretty soon in another major motorcycle magazine. I think it might be time for a little cruise man outrage. So how about another episode of Am I the Only One? Am I the only one that has noticed lately people are no longer pronouncing the T? What happened to the letter T? Am I the only one that's noticed this? I hear people on TV and the radio and they'll use words like important. Where the hell did the T go? What, what, or they'll say, uh, this one is better than that one. Or, or look at the button on my jacket. Am I the only one that wonders what the hell happened to the letter T? Why did they do, what did the letter T ever do to them? I always want to ask them, what did the letter T do to you so that you quit pronouncing the letter T? Has anybody else noticed this or am I the only one? Put it in the comments down below. I want to know if you guys and gals have noticed people, a lot of people have stopped using the letter T. I think they're illiterate. I don't know about you. Anyway, that's my rant for the day. Now listen, if you like these videos, you like my motor vlogs and my how-to videos and my other stuff, please take a second to click that little subscribe button down below. And if you click on that little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when I come out with a new video. And it would make me very happy if you would subscribe if you haven't already. Because those of you who have subscribed made me very happy. And I think you should want to make Cruise Man happy. Cruise Man wants to make you happy. So it's only fair that you should want to make me happy. In fact, you should get up every morning and the first thing that comes to mind is what can I do today to make Cruise Man happy? And today is just to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's simple. Anyway, appreciate guys. A couple other news items. Uh, we recently got the 2019 navigation audio system update from Honda, 
which I have installed on my motorcycle. Now, if you've seen my video on how to install the previous update, it's virtually the same. The only real difference is, and I'll put a link in the description below to the Honda website where you can download the update if you haven't already. And this is, of course, for the 2018 Goldwing. The 2019 Goldwings, I believe, already have this update applied. But if you have a 2018 Goldwing, you may want to update with this new navigation and audio system update. And what they have done is they've fixed a few things dealing with the CB radio. Uh, they fixed a few things with Apple CarPlay, especially on the iPhone. I think it's the iPhone X. Not sure about that. But it'll tell you on the Honda site. And they've also upgraded the... Uh, waypoints from I don't know what was it seven or eight nine you can now you can now have 99 waypoints in a navigation route now I would call this a modest update it certainly does not turn the Honda GPS into a world-class navigation system but it, it I'm sure it's an improvement over what they had I think they also did some improvement on the uh, Sirius XM radio uh, helping it to hold the station when the signal's weak rather than just switching over to the FM band. I've had that happen a few times. I think some of you have too. But put in your comments down below if you've already applied the update and what your experience has been. I know one problem I had with the last update, it dramatically reduced the volume on my audio system to where I had to crank it up to 17 or 18 just to hear anything when I played the radio and I was previously using level 13 or 14 and now I'm back to using 13 to 14 so I think they solved that problem whatever it was kind of a weird one but they uh, obviously did solve it one thing they changed also is if you're using a Mac operating system a Macintosh uh, you can now format your USB drive using the Mac I believe it's the extended journaled format instead of using NTFS you no longer have to use NTFS and I did that I, I uh, formatted the USB 3.0 drive using uh, the Mac format and it worked I was able to update my audio system some of you've had some issues updating uh, but mine went pretty well it took about 45 minutes to update it took a long time but I was able to get it to update. Also have, uh, for those of you that have my 2018 plus Goldwing maintenance videos, uh, we added a new video yesterday. Uh, and this video goes over the step-by-step -step instructions on how to initialize your DCT clutch. So, if you've had problems with your bike shifting kind of erratically or not shifting properly, uh, this is something you can try. You can try reinitializing the clutch. Basically, in layman's terms, it's a way of uh, instructing your Goldwing to go back and kind of relearn how to shift. This may also be necessary if you've switched oils from, say, uh, regular oil to a synthetic oil that can also affect how your transmission interprets things and shifts so if you've recently switched over to synthetic oil you may want to run through this procedure it really doesn't take very long it's just a specific set of steps you have to follow and the new video shows how to do that I have one other little tidbit of news to share with you for those of you that have a 2001 to 2017 Goldwing or F6B, we have just introduced and announced a new program for our maintenance videos where you can rent these videos for as little as $5 a month. I'm not kidding. Five bucks a month. So go to our website check that out if you have a 2001 to 2017 
Goldwing or F6B. It's an incredible deal. We've never had prices that low on our on-demand videos. These are in full high definition, unlimited streaming. Check it out. And you know what? That's about all I've got today. I'll do another motor vlog soon. Hopefully we'll get some better weather coming. We have cold weather coming tonight. And um, should be in the 30s and 40s here for the next few days. You know, I guess I'm going to have to suck it up and start riding in colder weather. I know my friend over in Tennessee, Memphis Mike, I saw him the other day doing a motor vlog in like 26 degree weather. And my ride in this morning is a pleasant, sunny, and 26 degrees. So I guess uh, I'm going to have to man up and do a uh, motor vlog when it's cold outside, as long as it's dry. You know, I may have to suck it up in 30 degree weather, but I'm not going to do 30 degrees and wet. But uh, so watch for my cold weather motor vlog coming soon. You know, I got to I got to get my uh, credibility. But that's it for now. Thanks for joining us. Until next time on Cruise Man's Motor Vlog.